Hello again, this is Matt from the Dice of the Round Table. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you appreciate it, and today I have a special little thing. Um, I'm recording this in March 2020. COVID is going rampant, so that's kind of why this is an interesting one. Um, I work with my local store a lot, and we do some Warlord product, and I was able to get a special... Um, demo pack. Um, a lot of stores get these from Warlord They'll when they're pushing new games like Black Seas and so forth. This is for Victory at Sea. And uh, I just realized that this doesn't do very good. I have my post notes on it. I've read the book. so But I'm just going to take a look at some of the information coming out with Victory at Sea. So, with no further ado, let's go into the box to see what it comes with. So the box is a simple set. I'll go through the rules in a separate video. But you get the basic uh, rules manual. And then there are some bubble wrap ships, which we'll go through in a minute. Um, this, this, and all this wonderful stuff. So let's go reverse backwards. So um, with this, I am getting uh, three smoke screen to, uh, no, four. One, two, three, four smoke screen markers. With this, we're getting one and two movement gauges. Uh, the movement gauges matter because it does give you your 45 degree, it tells you your 90 degree, tells your inches, as well as where to align it with the bow. All that will matter in a later video. This is your initiative marker for who has initiative for the round. We have our rearm tokens for torpedoes or other slow loading um, things and more down here. These are critical hits on vital areas, and these are section critical hits. You're going, why are there so many when it looked like there was three ships in the box? Well, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty of each, and spoiler, you're going to need them. Warlord sent, is sending out, this is like their Black Sea, Cruel Sea standard um, paper mat. It's dark on one side, and so it's like the Atlantic on one side and Pacific on the other side. Um, I have a 6x4 neoprene mat, so um, for my videos you'll see me doing my neoprene mat, um, but this is a nice one uh, for the space it takes up um, for Black Seas in this game. This mat, this, this fold-out mat is awesome enough. Um, cool Seas, because torpedo markers, I really love the neoprene mat better. But I believe for how this game plays from my first initial rule set, this is just fine. You don't have to go buy anything special. Okay, let's talk about the cards. Now, before cards, dice. You get two D10s and several D6s. Uh, the D10s are only for some crit hits and for initiative. Otherwise, D6s. D6s, D6s, D6s. D6s. <clears throat> okay, ship cards. Morella, thank you for packaging this for us, by the way. Thank you very much for getting this packaged. Um, these um, are going to be your damage trackers on the cards because if you have Cruel Seas, seen anything with Cruel Seas, they are following the tip the, what they did with Cruel Seas. Um, you're going to have your num your tens up here and ones at the bottom. You need to clip these so you can track damage. But we have the heavy cruiser. This is Japanese Japanese um, heavy cruisers. We have a U.S. destroyer. U.S. Destroyer card in here. Um, there's a Heavy Cruiser for Americans. American Heavy Cruiser card. And two Japanese Destroyer cards. Um, so, again, when I get into the rules, I'll go for a further breakdown of these. But anyone who wants a... Um, see if I can get this... I'll just zoom in. There we go. Um, that gives you an idea of the destroyers. It gives some stats. This is the cruiser for Japan. 
Because I know some people will try to do the snapshots. Pause the video maybe. So there's that. The Americans. And the destroyer for Americans. Okay, let's see what ships are in here. These are bubble wrap. I have not looked at these yet. So, this is Northrop Cruiser. Oh, thank you, Rodiga. You packaged this ship package. So, in this pouch, you're going to get ships. Ship base. And then, you have your... Um, Sculpting, this is one piece. It, you can tell there's some mold lines at the back of it. There are waves already pressed into this. And um, it is warped. It rocks. And this one rocks. So, uh, just so you have a heads up, they are not totally flat. And I would be very concerned about trying to press these out. So, this is a Northampton class cruiser. It is the USS Northampton. So um, when these are painted, you'll be able to see it better. But it says USS Northampton, 1942. So it gives you the year it was put in service. On the other side, it tells you what class it is. This is the Northampton class cruiser. But this is the USS Chicago, 1942 um, version. Uh, on here, you can see a lot of places. The reason is you're going to get this brew. This screw is going to have your guns. Um, so we got some guns, torpedo racks, radar, con tower, and bridge. There is flashing on the back side. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. See all those little needles projecting out? So you're going to have to cut this off. This is all resin. Um, and then here is the other one with some other flashing up top. So be careful getting in here. And cutting these up. This one doesn't have as many needles um, sticking out like this one. So I don't know exactly how the molds look. But this is how they come out. I will say right off the bat. I don't see any air pockets. <coughs> I don't see any air pockets. But I also, uh, it looks really nice. So that's the uh, cruisers. Let's see what's in this pouch. Da, 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 da. Oh, this one's got four ships in it. So, um, okay, so I have the Fubuki class destroyers for Japanese. It says Fubuki on one side, and the other one is we got no names. The Japanese have no names on their ships, they just say. Uh, Fubuki class destroyer so um, if you have more than the same you may want to have some type of color code system so you know what's what um, these are smaller ships um, one um, you can tell there's one place really to put anything the guns are molded in we have mold joints on the front um, these are pretty flat um, and then in here um, I actually have three towers, three bridges for these. So 9 out of 10, it looks like these will be, destroyers will come in three packs because there's three bridges on this sprue, I'm assuming. This is the Americans. This is the Fletcher class destroyer. They do not have names. The destroyers are not named. Um, but this one has a lot of flashing on it. Even on the bottom, it has some flashing. It's very rough. Um, not as clean as the cruisers and just so if you're looking this is the difference in the cruiser lengths so you're talking about uh the base wise it's it's like from my point of my finger to almost a joint um, but ship wise um, it's only about the same what length difference so that's this so i'm going to uh assume that this is my dish uh cruisers for my japanese so 
So, wow. Let's see one more comparison. If I put these together roughly, um, yes, the destroyers for Japanese and Americans match up. The reason why I say that is there is definitely a different um, ship ocean texture. Just looking this between the American and the Japanese cruisers, um, where this is bubbled with waves coming off for the wake, where the Americans much more narrow wakes, and you distinctly see where the propellers are coming out and jet jetting the water. So definitely some different texture. Um, this is the Mogami 1939. Mogami Cruiser, and this one is the Kamano 1944 Mogami Cruiser. So the Japanese cruisers are named. Um, that's just a top side view. Give you a little side view. And these are very much bowed, definitely out. These are one solid piece of resin. I'm not really seeing any air bubbles. I'm seeing a little bit more white in this resin. So it definitely either the release um, agent or I'm not sure what it is that's causing that. Um, but the bases are different between the American and the um, Japanese cruisers, which um, I'd have to look into the gameplay off the top of my head. I don't think that's going to actually make um, much impact but that's what's in the box so that's going to be very similar to oh oops forgot these and these are the sprues of gears for the Japanese um, cruisers so we got some main guns bridges radars and that looks like what maybe um, airplane launcher um, it will have a reconnaissance plane on it um, that's the destroyer sorry and torpedoes that would be the torpedoes so um, this will be a first of a several videos about victory at sea um, please subscribe to the channel so you can see what else is coming ring the bell and I'm going to do some breakdowns on how to play this, and I'm going to get this up and going as fast as I can to get some content, because I know a lot of people are anxious to see how this actually plays. So, I'll catch you next time.